Here's Dr. Brackney again here today. I want to talk to you about some of the most uh, common myths I've heard, and one of them is, I can't get chiropractic because, uh, because I'm too old, because I'm too young, because I've had surgery. And I'm going to have to say, those are all false reasons. Chiropractic is safe, effective, and gentle for all ages. As a matter of fact, what we know for certain, we have techniques. We have 13 different techniques. We use instruments. We don't have to twist, pop, snap, or crack to align. Since we have so many different ways we can do it that are so gentle and effective, we actually in our office have taken care of their ladies, ladies in their 90s. Now, when you're in your 90s, it's almost guaranteed you've got some bone loss or if not osteoporosis. You probably have some arthritis if you've not had regular chiropractic care. You probably are going to be a little bit more fragile and more frail. But that doesn't matter because a spine out of place is devastating to health. If there's subluxation, bones out of place, if there's pinched nerves, if the body is not getting good nerve supply, it's not healthy. And I don't care if you're a newborn baby and you're not healthy or you're an older lady and you're not healthy. I don't want that to exist. So we actually can gently do chiropractic care at any age. We've actually had babies that have had breech bursts, forceps delivery, vacuum extraction, C-sections, a lot of different ways. And quite frankly, baby's necks are so fragile at, at when, when they're just coming out of the, um, when they're getting born, that they can't hold their head up. So you have to realize if someone had pulled or twisted or yanked on that baby in order to get them into the world, that could have caused damage. And we actually are, have ways where we can detect if there's a shifting and twisting a lock at the top of their head or the bottom of their neck. And then we actually have gentle enough, safe, effective ways that we can correct that. You know, that's what torticollis is. That's why babies' necks are stuck to the side. That's why babies are crying a lot. If they're in pain, all you can do when your baby is crying. And if your head is stuck like this all day long, I don't care who you are, you're going to be fussy. So if you've had a little teeny spine or a bit or a really old spine and everything in between, we can handle that because we've had training in pediatric chiropractic and geriatric chiropractic as part of our degree. The other really common thing I've heard is, well, I had a surgery and so therefore I can't get it. Well, one of the things I know are there are 24 moving parts in different vertebra, we call them, moving parts are different vertebra in the spine. And usually when there's a surgery, they usually only affect maybe three parts. They might fuse, stick, they might, uh, fuse two or three of them. That leaves us with what? 21 more bones in the spine that probably need care. Because if we've already had surgeries, we already have a weakened spine. And that means there's been damage to the spine that may have happened decades ago and right above or below this, the area of fusion, if it was fused, that causes tremendous amount of stress. Unfortunately, one of the most common side effects of surgery is more surgery because the next area above that gets overstressed and breaks down as well. So what we obviously aren't going to do, we are not going to try and adjust fused areas, areas that are uh, have already had surgery, or an area that's had a fresh surgery. We're not going to go anywhere around there. But there's a whole spine, you know, from the tail to the back of the head that definitely still needs care and needs more care. You need more care if you've already had surgery because we know the spine's a bad spine. So we have ways, that's why we do exams, we do histories, we do physicals, we find out what we can and can't do with your spine, and we work on the areas that, that we can work on, and you'll be so much happier, so much relief, so much pain. Even if you've had failed surgeries, you can still see if there's something more that can be done naturally. That's our goal. So I look forward to helping you out if you need it, but know that we are the ones that are going to decide whether or not we can help you, and we're going to help you if we can. You guys have a great day.